I'm Brian Easterday and welcome back to Eye of the Storm Astrology. So in today's video I'm going to be continuing my series Sun Through the Signs and I'll be discussing Sun when it comes into the sign of Cancer. But before I do that be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way, I, that way you don't miss out on our videos that could be helping you turn your challenges into strengths. So what are the qualities of Sun when it comes into the sign of Cancer? Well, we've been talking about the sun and its qualities. It's masculine, it's fiery, it's driven, it's goal-oriented, those type of things. And, and if you're not familiar with that, go back and watch the previous videos as well because each one of these videos is going to give you a new insight into the qualities of the sun and allow you to get a more holistic uh, understanding of it. So when you're looking at the sun and the sign of cancer, for example, you'll be able to pull more out of it. Now, cancer is a sign that is ruled by the moon it's a feminine sign it's watery it's about uh, the maternal nature where it's like the sun is like the paternal like the father the you know cancer is like the mother the moon is like the mother so what we can see here is that in short the sun is very very opposite from the sign of cancer there's a lot of dissonance between them and their energy so what happens here well the sun isn't necessarily as happy here um, in this placement and keep in mind when i'm saying these things if you have your sun in cancer don't just go get down on yourself look at the different nakshatras it in because for example like in the sun in Punar Basu, because Punar Basu goes from Gemini into Cancer, the sun could do better there. Uh, in Pusha, that's probably where it would be kind of the most unhappy. And then uh, in Aslisha Nakshatra, the sun could actually do pretty well there. Um, so depending on the Nakshatras, that will change that. But overall, just with if we're just comparing the energy of Cancer, sun isn't as happy here. Why? Because, well, it's a fiery planet. Cancer is a watery sign. It's a masculine planet. Cancer is a feminine sign. It's an external thing. It's a cancer's internal. It's, you know, the, the sun wants to, it's the ego. It wants to do what it wants to do. It has goals. It's an individual. Cancer is all about nurturing and being eternal and caring about others and paying attention to others and giving to others and those type of things. So this kind of becomes difficult you know for the sun here this could be where a sun um someone's ego kind of becomes they really do they care about other people but they can be the type of people that like overextend of themselves like they'll give so much to others and then they'll forget to nourish themselves or another thing another way it could work is that they get stuck in the habit of being codependent and trying to get their nourishment from others so for example they um if a friendship falls out with this one friend they immediately go and try to make as many other new friends as they can or you know depending on where this is in the chart will affect that too but that's just an example of one way or say like in a relationship oh they get out of a relationship well what's the next thing i do i immediately got to look for another relationship and this is what's going to happen if the sun is uh not functioning well so it's already kind of having trouble in cancer but depending on like what other planets are with it where it's at in the chart how well the moon is placed because the moon rules cancer so it's going to be the dispositor for the sun here looking at those things and the strength of the sun all those different things are going to factor how prominent it's going to be but if the sun is feeling weak and it's not really performing well what's going to happen and keep in mind this is a choice it's not the planet's making it happen to you it's there's an energy that they're delivering to you so you can have an experience and learn a lesson so if you're not learning that lesson and you're working with it in an unhealthy way what's going to happen you're going to try to you know go from this relationship okay this ended oh it's been two months or whatever the fuck or two weeks whatever time period it is that's long enough i'm gonna go get on a bunch of new dating sites i'm gonna go talk to these other people I'm going to, oh, I met this one person that I have a little connection with. I'm going to just think that we're like total soulmates and everything. You know, we're going to be together forever. It's that that wanting to connect with people and like nurture them so badly because that's a projection. 
what can really happen is that person with the stomach cancers, they want to be nurtured by other people. They want other people to uplift them as well, to make them feel better. Um, so you have to really watch for the unhealthy expression of this, like being expressed in like codependency, being a person that can like jump from relationship to relationship or, you know, just even feel the need that you have to have someone else there all the time. Like realize that maybe, hey, I went through this relationship. It wasn't very healthy. Maybe I should take time to develop myself. And maybe instead of nurturing from other people, what I should be looking for is how do I nurture myself? How do I give to myself? How do I go internal with it? How do I apply the mind, the moon, because that's ruling cancer, and figure out who really am I? Why do I feel this way? Why do I feel like I have to have other people to support me? Or why do I feel like I always need to project the need to take care of everybody, you know, even if they didn't ask for it onto them? Well, ask yourself those things. Because as you start to question and you start to discover, you'll start noticing these things. And the reason why the sun is doing this is because when it comes in the sign of cancer, that's what it's wanting to learn about. It's wanting to learn how to have the healthy balance of nurturing and giving to others without overextending yourself, giving to yourself and giving to others. <clears throat> nurturing everybody involved, not being codependent on other people to make you feel nurtured. These are the lessons the sun is wanting to learn here. Not the most fun for the sun. It doesn't, you know, these aren't necessarily the things it really likes doing, you know. Um, like when it goes into Aries, it becomes exalted because they have a synastry there. They have similar energies. It's like, hey, let's do the work. Oh, I, I have goals and now I have the energy I need to accomplish those goals. In cancer, it feels a bit watered down, you know, like it emotions can very much feel like they um can hurt the person's ego. So for example, if they are wanting to take care of other people or they feel like they have a connection with other people and then those people like say something that hurts them emotionally that's really going to hurt their sense of self you know so you definitely can see some of those uh harsher um lessons that come with cancer can come out here when the sun comes here so what's the healthy expression of this how can you use this challenging placement as a strength and turn that challenge into a strength because that that's what that's my goal on this channel is i love finding things that are really challenging and figuring out how you can actually turn that into a strength well the way this would work would be learning to unite the masculine with the feminine fire with water action with care when you can do these things then you you're coming at things in a balanced way so you can have a sense of self that is healthy that doesn't just only care about what you, what you want like you know for example when some goes into leo well, i'll talk about my next video that can kind of happen there cancer they know i'm going to acknowledge other people have feelings i'm going to consider their feelings i see that oh they also don't i don't like feeling down on myself they don't want to feel down on themselves so i'm not going to put them down you know being compassionate and empathetic and aware of other people wanting to nurture and care for others and then also applying that to yourself that's the healthy way to use this you know being a figure that could be an authority on how to have healthy emotions that could be a great goal for a person with sun and cancer because sun is an authority figure so because you've learned how to hey my emotions are really wrapped up with my ego so i've really had to learn how to deal with them in order to have a happy sense of self well, now I can share that knowledge with other people. People can look to you as an authority on how to deal with your emotions. That's the type of goal that you're going to want to strive towards with the a sun and the sign of cancer. So, and, and I've said this many, many times, and I'll, I'll always say it again. Anytime there's a challenge in a chart, the reward that is behind that challenge on the other side of it is so great. Like the greater the challenge, the greater the reward. That really, I've really found that to be true. So if you're a person that you may see like, oh, I've got debilitated planets in my chart, I've got a difficult conjunction, or you know, you're like me and you have five planets in your eighth house, <laughs> don't just get down on yourself. Say like, oh, yep, yeah, that could be difficult. But why is that difficult? Well, because as a soul, like I'm passionate, I'm a fucking warrior. 
I came here because I wanted to challenge myself. And the more I challenge myself, the greater the gains I'm going to achieve. And I won't ever achieve those gains if I don't give myself that challenge. When you approach it with a warrior mindset, that's how you start seeing these challenges as opportunities. So that's going to wrap this video up, guys. I hope you found it useful. If you did, let me know in the comments. Is your son in the sign of cancer? Or do you know some people in the sign of sign of cancer? Was this accurate? Wasn't, you know, do you think it was off? Whatever it may be, I definitely want to hear your opinion. Uh, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Subscribe and hit and do yourself a favor and hit that notification bell. That way you don't miss out on any future videos that could continue to help you turn your challenges into strengths. If you guys need to contact me for any of my services like consultations, courses, whatever it may be, you can click the link below in the description that goes to my link tree and that will go to my website, any of my other social media, so you can also follow all of my work as well. Thank you for tuning in, guys. And remember, by creating more awareness, we create more opportunity to be the best version of ourselves. I appreciate your guys' support, and I'll see you guys next time.